In this video, I'm going to show you five things I do to make my audio sound better in my videos. So one of you guys commented this and I just like, I had to make this video. <laughs> so here you go. Now, in this video, the audio is not going to be such a good quality because I'm actually using the, uh, the software that I use to record my audios. I'm in this video, I'm recording it using the um, NVIDIA screen recorded native app. So the audio is not going to sound as good because I won't be editing, editing it as the sample that I'm going to edit it here for you. So the five things that I do to make my audio sound better. Uh, the first thing is number one is reducing the background noise. Normally I would record a few seconds in silent before I start speaking. You can see there is a little space right here and that is to capture the background noise. So if you play, if you can see down here, there's a little bit of background noise. So in order to reduce it, what we do, we're going to select this little part of the audio by clicking capture noise print. Then we zoom out and we select the whole audio. Now you can quickly do control shift P and that will open this. But if you want to go the whatever way, just go noise reduction and then noise reduction process. And it's the same thing. Now, here with this, you can get a preview of what the audio sounds like when this is green. It's because it's, the effect is being applied. So let me just show you. You see, I turn it on. It go. It, it applies a noise reduction. You see? So, oh, okay. So uh, <laughs> we apply this. I do 80% and then on noise reduction and then I do reduce by 11 decibels but you can try them out do more do less it all depends on your on your audio of course um, yeah so you can see that there's still a little bit more there's still a little bit of background noise if when you put that with a uh, with a little background music it's not noticeable but just for the sake of completely getting rid of the background noise. Let's do it again. So it's the same process. We just apply it one more time and that should, there you go. You see, there's no bar down here. So now we have, uh, let's see what sound. Let me tell you about a story. Okay. So the second step that we do is, I don't know if you notice, but the audio is only in one channel. This is the left side and this is the right side. And we need to make it so that it's on both channels. And in order to do that, you go to favorites, you turn, you convert it to mono, and then you convert it to stereo. You probably won't have this problem. I have this problem because my microphone only records in one channel. So I have to do this every time. That's the second thing I do. The third thing I do, the third, is I want to level out the audio. I don't know if you notice, but there are some parts, like for example here, that is very low, and then it's very high. So there's like a huge difference. And it just sounds bad uh, when someone is like super low and then they completely yell, they destroy your ears. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to level out the audio by doing hard limiter. These are the, the settings that I have. Basically, this is just going to trim all of those parts that are picking out. Um, so I just apply that and you see that it completely trimmed all the, the, the hide things. So in order to make it sound natural, we go to a, this again and we do normalize. And normalize, you do it by minus 0.10 decibels. And then it makes the audio all like this. Now you just got to reduce it a little bit. And make sure that you make you put it in between 9 and 15. Why do I say this? Because I don't know if you will notice here, after minus 6, it's, it turns red and it peaks. So it, it sounds horrible. Let me just show you. So you see that it is going over minus six. If I just play this little part, you will see that it will be red right here. Let me tell you about a story. And that is just outrageous. So you got to make it so that it never peaks. So you just put it in between 15 
minus 15 and minus 9, minus 9, which is like this part right here, which is like almost at the maximum, but not really. So it's like, you know, how the battery thing goes, like never charge your phone 100%, always charge it to 80%, it will last longer. The same with the audio. You don't want to go to 100% with the audio because then people will have to like be reducing the the volume of their headphones, but you don't want to go too low so that they have to be like, oh my God, I can hear this guy. So that's like a good level. Minus 15, between minus 15 and minus nine. That's all right. And if you go, the last thing that I do is de-reverb. Because when we do the uh, noise reduction thing for to remove the background audio, um, you gotta, t the background audio is not just in the parts where you're silent but it, it's also uh, when you're speaking. So the software removes some information from the audio from when you're speaking as well, and it makes it sound a little bit echoey. You will, let me just show you. Let me tell you about a story. There's a little bit of an echo in that audio. So in order to get rid of that echo, we do de-reverb, and we find that here under noise reduction. And... I think the reverb it's only in the latest versions of audition I have uh, 2020 um, but when I used to I used to have 2015 I made the jump from 2015 to 2020 and I didn't I didn't have the reverb on the 2015 version so if you have that one maybe you you might not be able to see it but it's it goes like that so what it does it removes the echo of the of the audio so let's see let me tell you about a story so if we go, so the higher you go, the more it compresses that echo. At some point, it's just going to feel, it's just going to sound as if you're like uh, pressing your nose. So you just got to like, just find a good balance just to remove the echo and to make it still sound natural. Let me tell you about a story. You see? So maybe a little bit, maybe 30% will be all right. Let me tell you about a story. Just a little bit more. Yes, like 35. That, 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 that'll, I'll do fine. 35. So let's see. Let me tell you about a story. There you go. So there's a little bit of echo, but when you put a, a very subtle, low background music, it's um, it does the job pretty good, and like people don't notice it at all. So Let me tell you about a story. Yeah, that's basically it. You see there's no background noise, um, and that little echo... Let me tell you about a story that will last like that right there. If you put a little bit of a background music and uh, it won't be noticeable. So, so those are the five things that I do to fix my audio. Now scroll down and click the subscribe button because my mom is expecting a college degree and I already spent that money. I ain't got no money for college. So I'm gonna bring her a YouTube award thing, the, the, the 100K plaque thing. And you're gonna help me get it. Please subscribe. That's it for this video. What are you still? What are you still? What are you doing here still? <laughs> Goodbye.